Hello, Lancers. My name is Fran Monacchio, and it's my privilege to serve as an Assistant Dean of Student Affairs and Director of Student Accessibility Services. Student Accessibility Services, or SAS, as we're known around campus, exists to provide an accessible college experience for students with disabilities. Hello, I'm Sharon DeClerc, and I'd like to welcome you to Worcester State University. As the Assistant Director of Student Accessibility Services, you might find me engaged in an intake meeting with a student where we're discussing academic accommodations, or you may find me meeting with members of the Housing Accommodations Committee. Hello, my name is Stephanie Jagir, and I am the Accessibility Specialist at SAS. I coordinate the student note takers, work one-on-one -on -one with students during academic coaching, and I coordinate the Delta Alpha Pi National Honor Society. Hello, my name is Brennan Boyle and I am the staff support with Student Accessibility Services. I'm usually the first person you see when you enter our office. Here are some examples of reasons to connect with us. If you had an IEP, Individual Education Program or Plan, or a 504 plan in high school, that's an indication that you would benefit from having a conversation with us about your eligibility for accommodations in the college environment. If you require American Sign Language or CART communication access in real time, please contact us soon so that we can make the proper arrangements for fall semester. If you have concerns about possible, possible physical barriers on campus, contact us so we can discuss your needs and how we may be able to address your concerns. If you have one or more of the following conditions, contact us. Learning disabilities, mental health issues, chronic physical health issues, sensory issues such as low vision or a hearing impairment, and even temporary conditions such as a concussion or surgery, The registration process is totally confidential. We do not disclose to anyone else on campus the documentation that you provide relative to your condition or disabilities, and it never appears anywhere on your student record at Worcester State University. All students must self-identify with our office. The first step is to go to our website and then fill out a registration intake form. Then submit your documentation. Once we have all of the documentation and your intake form, we will reach out to schedule a meeting. In order to find the documentation guidelines, navigate to our Worcester State website and find SAS. Over on the left hand sidebar, you will click on documentation guidelines. Let us know if you have any questions about what kind of documentation you need. You can share this directly with your doctor. Next, return to the Worcester State website and click on Applications, Forms, and Requests on the left-hand sidebar. This will bring you to our Titanium Scheduler. Here, you're going to click on the Registration and Intake form. Then, fill out the information requested. Hi guys, my name is Javon Perry. I'm currently a senior at Worcester State University, and I'm here to tell you my personal experience with the Student Accessibility Services. As an incoming freshman, my grades really weren't up to par, and I came into my sophomore year thinking I had everything, but I was afraid. I was afraid that I was going to fail all my classes. That's where I went out of my comfort zone and I searched for help and that's where I found everybody in the Student Accessibility Services office and they welcomed me with open arms and they provided me with tools to make me the student that I am today, a very successful student that I'm proud and thankful because of them. <laughs>